ott is. Bloop. I don't know how to fish though. Am I left clicking if I catch a fish? Oh. Oh, uh, caught a fish. I've been having a fantastic day and welcome to Fishing Chat. Apparently, an indie horror game that features fishing and chatting. It looked like an interesting game, and uh, as the game story, uh, as, the, uh, as the game store page puts it, welcome to Fish and Chat. Feel free to take things easy and relax on the wide open lake in this low poly '90s chat room style horror game. Chat with the locals, explore the peaceful lake. You know, horror game, peaceful lake, obviously. And aim to catch the massive fish that everyone keeps talking about. Yeah, that's basically, basically it. So we're gonna get a, a... I haven't played a fishing horror game for a long time. We're gonna go to the splishy, splashy, quiet lake. And as usual, you should check out my pinned comment down below to check out my Discord if you want to join a friendly community. Always looking for more active members. And we're just gonna get into it. Yeah. I mean, lo load? I guess I have to click the map and then load. Also, I got some Coca-Cola. I got, I just had this huge damn urge. Not sponsored by Coca-Cola. Oh, it's so good. Um, so let's see. I have zero friends online. Wouldn't this be more akin like of an MMORPG that's a fishing game? I think. A fishing MMO? There, there is some fishing MMOs on Steam I've seen that I just never bought. Hello, mister! Can I go fishing? How do I chat? Let's bump into them. Just ram their boat. Have you heard the rumors? Everyone is saying one of the corners of this lake has a massive fish. No. I have not. I'll disturb your fish! Like an ass! But, I mean, what are they talking about? Coroners, I guess. We're, we're gonna... Hmm? What? I like that we can... I control the boat by WASD and the mouse cursor. So if I, like, shake my head no, I'm just, like... I'm just, like, paddling the boat left and right. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, big fish. Look like salmon. Maybe a trout. Mm. Give me the fish. This is a massive lake. How am I supposed to know where... Where a corner is? Nope. I'll just... I guess I'll follow the signs, maybe. These kind, kind fishermen, they're pointing me to where the big fish are. So I can steal their fish. I mean, fishermen can be probably... probably nice people. Like, I don't know, anyone out there that like, goes fishing? Let me know. If you love fishing, if you like to go out fishing, and if you do, have you ever met someone who goes fishing or loves fishing who's an asshole? Is it even a thing? A genuine question. Oh, Doc, wait. This way. We could park here? No. Why do I have no friends? Why am I a loner? Oh, oh. We found it. Fish. Bloop. I don't know how to fish, though. Am I left clicking if I catch a fish? Oh. <gasps> Uh, oh, caught a fish. Catfish? C catfish? Hey, I was right. Catfish. I could, I guessed the pixelated fish. Nice. Tell me if you guys got a guess right too. The body was discovered at around 3 p.m. with unidentifi unidentifiable bite marks being dis discovered. I couldn't, I couldn't read that. I'll just say that I was the cause of the bite marks. Catfish is delicious, by the way. Let me know what fish you love in the comments down below! <laughs> Where did you come from? Mystery... Fisherman with a big chin? Maybe an alien? A buddy of mine logged off after catching a fish the other day, and hasn't been back since. Hmm. Wait, two signs now? I'll assume it's like, it's like... The cursed... Wait, there's two directions. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay, we can go this way this time. I don't know, the last time I played a... MMORPG-styled indie horror game. Like, not a real MMO, but, you know... Weird car sounds. A, um... Indie game... That was about an MMO... 
that is horror related rather i remember it just got it just got like a lot of drama because it's just like the game included political messages and i like included elon musk for some reason so let's hope there's nothing like that in this game the only other time i remember a game that's similar like to this where it's like it's somewhat real world or it's like it's an empty empty indie horror game it was like that one retro styled game where just like it was the uncanny valley of playing a first person shooter in a dead server or an empty lobby and it gets all weird and hacked and shit do anyone remember that it's been a long time since that came out make sure you catch lots of fish before going this way you'll need the practice nah fuck you i will go where i please unless it's just that exclamation mark doesn't show up and we'll, we'll see this map is fucking huge uh, no, where am I going? I got the Coca-Cola burps. If only I could press shift to sprint. Also, what's my volume at? I'm gonna turn up my volume in the most awkward way with my right hand. Yeah, it's high enough. Yeesh. Why is there an empty boat there? Get, gotta get ready for spam and space bar. I just hope my webcam. What is it? Need more practice, my ass. It is presumed the victim was dismembered by a large predatory animal lining up with recent rumors in the area of a leviathan-sized creature lurking in the lake. No such creature has been sighted. However... I mean, did, did, did a fish just, like, screech and take the, a floating head away from me? All we're gonna be like is dot dot dot, and I also remain friendless? Hmm. I'll just presume it's a fisherman whistling. Also, I'm trying to record uh, with my old shitty software. You can. But I'm going to still talk shit about it. Because I ha always have issues with that software. Like, for instance, uh, like in my last two videos, I did it with just purely OBS, right? Um, I, I forgot that there's a big issue with doing that. And I'll, I'll keep fishing while doing that. The big issue is... I can't- I can separate the audio into different samples. Okay, I can just- I can separate in different samples for audio. A bathtub plug? I was gonna like drain the lake. I sort of played a game like this already. Drainage plug. Oh god, no. Haven't I played a game like this? Loading new map. This is so familiar. I might have to look up on my channel to see if I played something like this already. I s okay, well, not though this isn't familiar. I have one friend. It only tells me when I have a friend that's nearby. I don't trust that, but okay. I, I guess I haven't played a game like this. I fell down the lake's bathtub, but a friend nearby. I'll stay away from the stalagmites. You can't remember actually what I was about to say now. Oh yeah, the problem with the recording microphone and webcam and game footage with OBS is you can't separate your webcam and game footage as separate files, but you can with audio. So it's like my mic audio and game audio can be separate on OBS, but my webcam can't be like, say, I wish OBS could, where it's just like the webcam... Like, you have, like, the screen, and then the webcam on the bottom right. I wish it could be like you could have a, transpa a transparent recording of just the webcam, and then in a separate layer, record the game footage that you coordinate to OBS of what you want to record. But you can't. So I'm re-downloading the shitty software. Even though it's like I literally use UCAM to record my mic and webcam, and then when I look at the video file, it tells me there is no audio, and it scares me. What if one day there just really is no audio, and only when I hand it into the handbrake compressor program does the audio magically show up? So it's like that kind of iffy technological thing that just scares me, and it makes me unnerved at relying on such 
incompetent software. I It's why I don't use Logitech software for anything. Logitech hardware is nice. Logitech software is horrible. But that's enough. That's enough, uh, I guess, talking off topic. Mm. Okay, let's get closer to you. Okay, you're just a fisherman. Okay, it's just a lingering shadow in the darkness. Jesus Christ. Hello. Your friend, right? Mm-hmm. I'm right in front of you. I'd fucking hope so. Looked like a T-Rex. We're gonna continue with it. There's supposed to be three fish maps. I want to... Wait, what? Uh, thank you for playing my game. I was rambling through most of it. What, what happened to the... The three maps. Okay, well, let me alt, alt F4, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, I was also playing in desktop mode. That's funny. So, wait, if I turn up the volume, what is it you see? Oh, Best of Oni Plays. That's funny. Yeah, I was watching Oni Plays before this. I'll reboot the game. Hang on. Select map. Unavailable. Ah, okay. So, it's not that the other map's unlocked, but it's unavailable... Hmm. Okay, let me look at the game store page. One second. Let's see. The game came out one day ago. Um, a relaxing, atmospheric adventure. Music from Plastic Heart Surgery. Many different fish to collect, with fun facts included. Sources of such facts may vary. Around 10 minutes of playtime. Thank you for playing. I consider myself still very under-experienced. Uh, at Megan Games, so any feedback or comments are very much appreciated. I feel the concept for the game could have gone in many different ways, so I'm interested to hear what people think. Uh, they, they caught a lily bass, too. Fun fact, bass commonly are allergic to honey and other bee-related products. How do people know that? Is that real? Bass are allergic to- okay, I'm gonna look that up. What the fuck is this? I am mm, allergic to snow egg, but I love my fish. What kind of fish? What? Very f iodine. Is this one of those as how how girl get pregnant? I am allergic to snow egg. Do they mean snake? But he says fish. What the fuck is a snow egg? What kind of fish can I eat that don't have any iodine and no allergic sim symptoms? I am mm, also allergic to hunt. Fuck off site! But uh, I'm trying to read this, and this bitch fucking AI stupid ass website keeps popping. You know what? Block element. No, no, not okay. Well, not that. You know, what? I'm, I'm using brave element. Brave element. You guys can see this? Actually, you guys can't see it. Wait, what? Okay, now you guys can see what I was talking about. First, here, here's the store page. I was. <laughs> did you guys know what I'm talking about? I was like reading it. I'll, I'll post it as a screenshot because I was like trying to show it in the video and then it was not showing it but that that's fine and i don't know if you guys saw me raising my volume but whatever but yeah there's like a this slowly the bass i was talking about and uh apparently so there'd be some fish i didn't catch but then i saw I saw this site and this here's the annoying bitch i was talking about and she kept pop popping up like this like against my will kind of shit and see she does it again I, I, my face is blocking it, but you guys can see what I mean when it pops up when I click it, but I hate sites like this. <laughs> Welcome, how can I help you? You're not real. I am allergic to snow egg, but I love my fish. I am also allergic to honey, nuts, like almonds, pork, and fish, like snow egg. Like, what is a snow egg now? Oh, snow egg is actually a real thing. I thought this person was just like... Spelling shit like a 12 year old. It's actually a real fish. Oh, I mean, it looks kind of tasty. Oh. Is that with basil and red pepper flakes? Oh man, let's check out this recipe. Hang on, hang on. Let's see two limes, four olive oil, chili flakes. I confused that with the whole uh, pepper flakes, but close enough. Honey. <laughs> that guy's allergic to that. Garlic cloves. Yeah, yeah. Fresh ginger, soy sauce, and a handful, a handful of fresh coriander, chopped, 800 grams of lightly smoked snow egg. Uh, salad for serving. Mmm. It's not bad. Carb conscious. 
<laughs> and now it just turns into a bunch of fucking rabbit food and vegan shit. No offense. <laughs> but I'm just like, ooh, salmon crudo. What is this? Lemon juice, soy. Okay, they use the, the exact same ingredients every time. You, these. You, when you're making a recipe, could you at least make a different sauce for each thing instead of just using the same soy sauce, lemon or lime, garlic, ginger? They, they, these are like the only things sort of new. Is them throwing uh, sesame seeds, salmon roe. I mean, that's just that's just fancy. That's too fancy for my blood. But either way, that is the fishing game. <laughs> fish and chat. I, fish and chat. It's supposed to be like a joke, a joke or a pun on fish and chips. I I wager. But it's an interesting game. Um, it could. My only, if I were to give the developer suggestions, because I, I do like saying things that are helpful to developers, at least in my mind, helpful. Let me just chug some more Coca-Cola, because it's a tiny, 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 222 milliliter, tiny, tiny, tiny little can. That's 222 milliliters of, uh, milliliters of soda and 24 grams of sugar, which is kind of comical that it has more than one gram of sugar. 10 milliliters, but we'll ignore that fact. Uh. My advice, I guess, would be if you're going to make a horror game which is especially fishing based, you'd want to have it more relaxing. I'd say spamming the space bar is counterintuitive to the nature of fishing. If I had to give advice of at least how I would make a game be in line of a casual game, I wouldn't include spamming spacebar until hectic moments. Like, let's say, uh, two parts. One is, I would advise or suggest, it's like, it's a fishing game, you should maybe continue making the game and unlock these other sections and have, like, different adventures, different people. Like, the first guy, let's just say he died. He, he's lost. And then you continue playing as a new player, and you get told how probably that you died or you're just a, sec a different person in a different lake with a different circumstance. And because more content that's like the same or similar to the first one means it won't be hard to make more content since you know you have the assets you have the same boat you don't have to reprogram things and so it's easy content right but you should make it so the game is genuinely quiet and peaceful but still engaging you have to have things happen every so often and same thing with AAA developers right where uh, how people made fun of Starfield, right, versus Fallout. The biggest complaint was you're roaming on the planet, and when you go from point A to point B, or let's say a settlement, and there's nothing that fucking happens in 5 to 10 to 15 minutes in that boring-ass travel in Starfield, right? The same logic would be for these kinds of games, fishing games. You should have at least something that, uh, keeps your attention, like, uh, in the moment, an event, a sound, something spooky, a person to talk to, fish... And like, and then like the next time you go fishing, it's not that far and f uh, far and few in between. And I would suggest that since it's fishing, you shouldn't spam spacebar because it's like you're going fishing, and then you're telling a person to relaxingly go fishing, and then spam spacebar incredibly fast like it's God of War one. It's I think you should only maybe like be like you're going fishing, and then it's like a bar that goes left and right like most fishing games, and you have to hit the spacebar in the right moment to get catch the fish, but. When there's like serious shit happening out of nowhere, then you suddenly introduce spam the space bar, or else you die, or else something bad happens, and maybe you, then you could introduce like a, a three strike system, something just basic but as a whole. Oh, you lost the fish if you didn't suddenly be like, oh shit, I have to spam space bar all of a sudden because like a hectic, unknown, giant, monstrous fish is trying to kill you, kind of thing, and you wouldn't expect that the resistance of the big fish cause you to spam the space bar while all the other fish require one tap. That kind of introduction would include a mechanic that subverts the expectations and throws a player off out of nowhere because they're just relaxing, right? They're just like, oh, I know it's a horror game, but tap the space bar, tap the space bar, then suddenly big fish. And that would catch people off guard, right? I would think that's a good idea. But it's, it's spacing it out while also making sure there's good content or events happening in between. That is the best way I would suggest to make games like this. Now, I'm not a game developer, but I'm an idea man. So it's like, you can take it with a grain of salt, but that would be how I would suggest 
uh, ideas of how to improve. It's rough around the edges, but if it is their second game, uh, as they said, what was it? They said it is their... They experienced... I, I think it was? They made Heart Rot, which I didn't play, and Hibernation, which I didn't play, but I downloaded it and I'll be playing it next, if anything. It's their third game. But they still say they're inexperienced, so hopefully my comments will help them. Um... And otherwise, there's potential, I would argue. I, 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 I would like to think I can see through a lot of things and use my education of psychology, not just for human behavior, but I can usually probe into how games are made or how one should make games and also use psychology because I'll know how people think. And because of that, I'll know how to catch people off guard or how to talk in ways that can smooth people over, or use linguistic warfare, for instance. We don't have to call it warfare, but I will. Uh, to coerce a person to not be angry, let's say, or to convince or persuade people into, uh, you know, just not being upset. Like, let's say it's like you want to tell someone... Uh, like a story or an event that you know will upset them. Well, you just don't. You don't have to use. You can use different words, but still say the same story. And you just you know, don't be. You just, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But the point remains: psychology and gaming. I feel can be mixed in a way, and that's just going into a weird tangent and a rant. But I, I don't need to go into that random tangent. I'm just. I uh, just. It's an old man thing, anyways. <laughs> but hopefully, my suggestions. If the developer watches. Uh, is helpful and it helps them grow as an indie developer because I'm always all about giving suggestions for indie developer uh, gen like genuinely like when I'm not to confuse myself with a bunch of content creators that are ass kissers or people that are they only say positive things to hope to get connections and grow connections and it's more of a self-interest kind of thing or it's just like pretending to be kind kind of thing when i'm saying these suggestions i don't give a shit if i'm not even given any thanks or any kind of like uh reciprocation i i don't care i genuinely am going to give this advice whether i am told thank you nico that's such amazing advice i don't need to hear that i like to give advice and give my thoughts and suggestions even if you know it's just so it's just like hey take it or leave it but I like being genuine, upfront, and blunt, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's a basic thing, but anyways, I've been ranting for too long, this is a 10 minute game, and now it's like a 20 plus minute video, so I hope you enjoyed, and enjoyed my rant, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos, thank you for watching, until the next time.